What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and lads, this is your Thursday roundup but I'm going to be having a chat in my live stream later, I want to see you in there. I'm officially worried about eFootball man, I'm going to put it out there, I'm officially worried about some of the stuff, right? First up, we have this brand new trial event, which is going to be a teamed event, a challenge event and a ranking event, all in pursuit of finding out what people want from Smart Assist. We don't want anything from Smart Assist man. I know and I understand that there's a little bit more nuance into what Smart Assist is actually doing and we will talk about that in the live stream but this is a brand new teamed event kicking off today they will be carrying a survey out after this yeah I mean I'll leave that till the big video it's just to cover obviously in the roundup uh, we'll do a live stream we'll have a chat about that there is also some good stuff in this update right they do have the volume one Smart Assist there but they have the European club where you get a random booster here and when you click on this here, it says that the Smart Assist is fixed off. So it's only for this event here that you can use the Smart Assist, right? So I can see where they're trying to go with this. Obviously, they want to kind of get a bit of feedback as to whether this is working or not. You also have the Unlimited event there as well. And for the AI one, they've actually mixed it up a bit because you get a free Bayern Munich Oktoberfest 2024 uh, kit with this event. So all you have to do is clear this event and you'll get that. National teams are going to be getting your Player of the Week spins. And then, of course, they have the Co-op versus AI event back. The European clubs event is still ongoing and the starter. So these three are still ongoing. The starter one, all of these are still ongoing. So these are the two new ones here. I do like the Oktoberfest kit. I mean, it's something small, but listen, it's 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 kind of what I expect at this stage now. They're not going to make huge wholesale changes to it, right? Uh, right about now. We also have, of course, the daily game still ongoing. Let me know if you guys have got Ribery by now. And of course, we do have a load of new player selections, right? So not only do we have Worldwide Player of the Week, where we have Yamal, we have Kane, we have David Rea. We've got a couple of other players scattered throughout here as well. The Ligt is in there, Theo Hernandez, Conor Gallagher. There's a lot of good players. Troy Parrott is in there as well, the Irishman. I mean, he might be worth going for for me, just for something different on my road to glory. Um, but let's see. Callum had some, ha hudson Adoy is in there as well. Looks like a pretty beastly card. I'll do a review on them, a quick review on them. But to be honest with you, lads... The only one that people will probably want is Yamal if you don't have the Showtime one, right? Because he is pretty decent. I mean, his balance type possession speed, it's pretty decent. Now, you can't train anything on these. They are just what they say they are. Um, and you can't do any adjustments to them, right? Uh, but there's also, on top of that player of the week, which you get a free spin for with the event, there's a Brazilian league selection here as well. Um, and these are the players in here. And these don't have any max levels, so you need to train them up. Obviously, they've got levels here that you need to train up. The player of the weeks are fully stocked for you. We also have an English league selection. So this is probably why Haaland isn't in the player of the week selection, because he's in the English league selection, which, go figure, they'll get him in some way. Um, but yeah, I mean, these cards look pretty decent. Obviously, you've got a Jamie Vardy updated card. They're just slightly better than the GP versions of them, um, obviously, and you can clear the box. Haaland goes to 25 over or 25 levels overall, probably goes to about 100 overall. We'll do a review on that as well. We'll do a review of all these packs in one, the league selection packs. And then we also have the Spanish and Italian league selections as well. These are the players here, in case you guys are wondering. With all the levels, you've got Pedri. But lads, the problem is, man, these are all geared towards newcomers and new players. Because I already have about six versions of Pedri. I have five versions of Rodrigo. So why would I spin? Obviously, Julian Alvarez in a new updated kit with a new updated, you know, player model or player build and a player card for Atletico. But I mean, I already have about four versions of him. So I know it's not geared towards me. Somebody who's been playing the game or you guys who've been playing the game for a while. It's the same with all of these. So yeah, I I'm disappointed, man. And as I said, I'll get into it in, in, in the live stream, right? This is not the video for it because I want to just chat about a couple of bits and pieces and about the future of eFootball, where it is right now, a week on from launch. Yeah, because I am a little worried, man. More than a little worried, to be honest with you. Um, but Bayern Munich, Barcelona, these packs, you will get your free logins for those and you can clear those. Um, they're tied to the objectives here as well. There's nothing else really new, man. It's just rinse and repeat. And I'm surprised there's no epics today. They're probably leaving the epics now to launch on the Friday, which is uh, something that we kind of predicted last week with Ronaldinho and then he came. Um, and then obviously they'll probably have another epic pack tomorrow as well. And if they don't, it'll just roll into Monday where they release one. See, it depends on how much they're making from the cards, man. Um, you know, it, it depends how much that they're actually making and what cards they release and what day they release which is the best day to, for them to release the cards that gets most bang for the buck. Could be Thursday, could be Friday. Friday's leading into the weekend, so there's a bit more hype there for the weekend. Um, but let's see, right? Also with the starter campaign, that's still ongoing, but it's pretty much going to be going for the next 13 days. 
just simply log it into the game log in one more day you get this 50 football coins and the rest is just earned from playing the game and that's pretty much it man there's nothing really else there i'm not going to make a video when there's nothing really there to talk about i mean the contract is is, is what you're at there the special players we've already focused on the events we've already focused on um we'll have a video as to what's coming monday as well um but yeah i mean they have a revision here during today's maintenance we have revised the matchmaking system for, for division three and above in eFootball league but there's no details they don't tell us why or what or how or who or when um there's no details right um and this is another one here as well that they talk about just little bits and pieces of, of stuff that they've changed and um, the contract renewals and stuff like that um but yeah the rest of the stuff is just logging bonuses so let me know what you guys think we'll be streaming a little bit that is your thursday roundup i will talk to you in the live stream don't forget to subscribe peace